Welcome to this new game, and we play against against Gennady. We played again against him two days ago, and yeah, we have a rematch for him. Gennady two nine five four, and he goes for this system. Probably we go to some Benoni. So if he takes out here, and we go in these kind of structures. He goes h6, so what he wants to do is take, take, and then go here. But that's something you always always want to prevent with the move a4. Because otherwise he gets a nice setup with his pawns. Instead, he goes there. I think I'll bring out my knight. This pawn move doesn't make a, a lot of sense as well. I remember this previous game, he also played like some some moves which to me didn't make too much sense so that's interesting that is interesting um so i can either play my knight back maybe h3 to play e4 next also an option because i want to prevent that takes takes bishop here and h3 is a useful move often in these positions anyway so let's go for it and stay flexible because if i get my knight here then my bishop cannot move and as long as he yeah that's a bit what i thought right as long as he doesn't take here then um, my bishop is a bit blocked i think i want to go here now bishop d3 and yeah, maybe get a setup like this. Interesting, let's just develop the bishop. I thought maybe a five was a move for him. But now yeah, maybe he wants to try to get his knight here at some point. I'm thinking about g4 as well. But yesterday we also went uh, g4 at some play point and we completely lost that game. I could also go for a slower approach. Maybe that's just smart. I'm just a bit of... Oh, I'm not sure if afraid is the right word, but... That he gets his knight here. But I think here, here, here... I guess I can simply take it, but then his knight has some outpost here. Um, but maybe I can actually win this pawn back right away. No, he has the cheap pawn. Ah, let's just go for it. Here, 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 takes, takes, queen to attack it, g5. I think then h4 is a good move if he takes and this pawn hangs and if he's going to defend it then i'm opening up this file goes there logical move let's get the, king, the queen forward maybe connecting the rooks i think for now i want to stay in the middle as my pawns and my pieces are centralized and Maybe I might be full, more vulnerable at the side of the board than actually castling, because here I'm maybe a bit weak over here. What about this move? Uh, I shouldn't open that position. I would love to go here and here, but he has this move then. Store. Uh, maybe I should go H4. G4. Then this pawn cannot go anywhere. Yeah, I think it's a bit if I go G4, G5. Hmm. This knight might go here. But I think G4 is a good move though. Prevents this knight also from coming here. Having some grip. Getting some grip also on the F5 square. So I think I would just do that. maybe some rook behind it at some point could be interesting 
and then see if I can start pushing this pawn mess. Maybe not, but at least I prevented now his knight from going to a four, which could have been strong for him. And I don't see a lot of options for him to breaking this open for now. Often these positions you try anyway. Um, no, well, there it is. But I can blockade stuff rather easily. So, and then I'll take back with the knight. So, and then he, well, he will get this fall right, parts of it, but I'm not sure how much that actually does. And he can't do much on this side of the board as well, right? So, um, well, I simply have to take. Takes back with the queen, likely. Takes and then after this, I'll go back with the queen. I remember the last game. Also won a pawn in the opening rather easily. Um, quite unnecessary, actually. I could even, th even think about taking with a pawn. But then his knight will go here. Block that pawn, I think. Taking with the knight is good. good to get some pressure on this. This is clearly the weak pawn in this position. Sure, his bishop is protecting it, but it has to keep on protecting it for a long time. Maybe he wants to trade off my knight at some point. I can always drop back. Let's see what he has in store. And I can still castle short, right? So it's not a big deal. Let's take. This knight might want to go here anyway, right? But I think after this move, we'll just put the queen here. Also protecting this pawn. I think that's fine. And like I said, I can still castle short. But I think in these kind of positions, I would prefer to have my king in the middle of the board. Let's go here. So check like this. I will meet it with simply either king up or maybe yeah maybe even bishop here then my bishop also maybe has a future here or i could also go here now nah, but then likely we'll have a repetition of moves Ooh, i can still get my bishop back then actually maybe that's interesting and then if my king moves forward the rook is already on the same line with the queen I think this is a good move because at some point I do want to play this move. Well, maybe bishop here to go here at some point. Yeah, and then if I can take it back, then. Okay, let's go here. Thinking up. Looks promising. There he goes back even. At some point I will push this pawn. This queen is now blocking the knight from getting developed. So that's a plus for me. I think I should get my king up or castle. I think I prefer to move the king up because in the center it looks a bit less vulnerable than here. Maybe not. Maybe no. Maybe I should castle actually. Maybe it doesn't matter too much. This feels more natural. So let's just play it. He goes there, that's what I thought. Yeah, if takes, then I will take back. But I could play my queen here to get control over this file. That looks quite interesting.
Mm, doesn't work. Maybe it's too much. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Uh, then this file mal might get opened up as a result. This knight will uh, get a square here at some point, likely. But I feel uh, I don't really want to take here. I could also go back. I don't really want to go back. Maybe I should have castled here. Because maybe if this opens up, then my king is a bit more vulnerable here. But okay. Let's just go for it. Takes. Takes. Then I am adding on, on this square as well. I uh, don't really want to take in between. Let's take here. Maybe this is a good move for him. But my bishops do pr protect my king quite well. Yeah, I cannot allow this, so I should simply take. But then I was thought thinking of this. So I think I should take here. Then, yeah, queen here maybe. I think he should take with his knight. And his rook is unprotected, right? Loose pieces drop off. I don't want to allow him to take my bishop. This is an important defender here. This, then this pawn likely falls sooner or later. So I was thinking that this was a good move now. Get some pins in. The thing is that these pieces are a bit out of the game, huh? So. And my knight rather easily joins the game maybe even here but that's a good move indeed that's a good move that's a good move so i think i have to go here now mm, no then this one falls that is a good move that is a good move uh, let's see maybe i can activate my knight Hmm. I don't really want him to allow... If only my knight could have gone here now or hmm, here. I overlooked this move. That's a good move. This doesn't work, right? Because of this. Then he might move out of the way. Maybe I should go here. Let's do it. To take back like this and then get the rook behind the pawn. And then trade whatever lands here. And if he has to take back like this. Okay, he goes there. Maybe I should go here. Or even here. Um, 
Ähm Let's go here. Yeah, if he goes here, I'll go here. Yeah, that's what I thought, but then I think I'll just simply take here now. And then this bond hangs. In the end. That's what I thought. But that might be interesting for him. can get my knight here, set up some blockade. Interesting. Well, I think I should go for it at least. Maybe even here. No, probably. His pieces do get activated, so... Yeah, but I thought now I could go here. Uh, even I could go here. That's maybe even better. Yeah, that might be even better. Takes. I'll take with the bishop. Opposite call of endgame. And it likes, likely should go here, probably, but maybe I can go here. Okay, he wants to set up this. I will I want to set up this. And see if I can get this pawn to move. Right, he was threatening to go here. Now my king is a bit vulnerable, so should find a way to get to safety. Yeah, that is. So this is an option because of this. It does get more active now. Maybe here. Maybe then this move. Okay, well, let's see. So this square is, is covered now. And I will start moving at some point. This pawn is still covered, right? I might want to play f3. At some point here. If this, then I think I'll play this. Attacking the pawn, protecting this pawn. He goes there. Then I think I will go here. Going after this pawn, which is very weak now. He goes there. Uh, let's, let's just go for it. Whatever. of lines here let's see let's see I think I will play this to see if we can get some 
Green Trident. Is this a move? I don't know. Let's go for this. It looks good. Takes. I will take back with the bishop. This I will block like this. And this pawn is still going somewhere. Pawn is still going somewhere. And I'm two pawns up. Doesn't go for a trade, but then I thought that this is actually. Oh, he would take it with check. Let's go here. Ah! Okay, let's check out the game analysis. Yeah, I flagged in the end. That's very unfortunate. And I was in a winning position. That's rather sad. But it's part of the game. Yeah, this kind of setup with e4. White gets a clear plus over here. But uh, yeah, you have to prove your advantage, of course. Bishop to d3. I think it's a sensible move and just position it, it in the center uh, for later in the game. Yeah, g4 was the right move, actually. Takes... The computer likes me to take this way. So I can take with the bishop. Oh, that's actually an interesting idea. I didn't even consider that. But probably the better approach. But this was, I think, also fine. Knight takes... Queen in between. Saves the pawn. Queen goes back, bishop here. Yeah, I was thinking about this, but I thought this, this, then maybe at some point it gets a bit difficult to push this pawn at some point. And I think this was also fine, because now the bishop also helps to enter the game here at some point. This would have been a good move, but what if this? Not a five. Oh, it's with a tempo. Of course. That's important. Okay. I didn't consider that. Um, queen c3. Yeah, this is because he gets some counterplay in now. Hmm, should have gone here. Ah, I could have taken. Ooh, I oh, completely overlooked that. Yeah. Okay, then I was lucky. And I got my plus back. My plus 6, plus 3, plus 4. Uh, plus 0, 6, 0, 3, 0, 4. Yeah, this was not the right move. Um... Bishop back, bring the pieces in. But I had a feeling this knight always sh should protect this knight in case I take. That you can get a knight always on this square. And now I simply take. And this converts to a winning endgame for me. This was the better approach actually. Blocking it. Yeah, king f3. Protect this pawn. h5. Rook a1, get the rook in. Okay, yeah. Looks like a very... What about... I was a bit of afraid of c4 at some point. But then... I can just... Or even e5. <laughs> okay, this is a complete... Uh, Double-edged uh, game. Check. Takes. Knight takes. Interesting, okay. There was a lot of potential tactics uh, in this game. I went here instead, and now we enter into a... Opposite colored bishop endgame. Rook a1, queen to c2, queen there, yeah now my rook enters and I get some, so I go for the weakness of my opponent, right, f7 square, the f7 square is definitely a weakness of my opponent, because my bishop already is eyeing on there, the rook and the queen can potentially join and does join, right, so here, d6 is actually the right move, takes, going back, and here I was going to play this when I flagged. Although this has some drawing tendencies, it's just still plus two. So, yeah, and he simply has to take, right? So if only I would have put my queen there slightly faster. Could have gone for this endgame and yeah, this is uh, winning. Yeah, it's a pity. I was also, why I was a bit late, I also was considering this move. But yeah, maybe the queen gets in here. It's a bit... Uh, 
double edged and I wanted to go for the queen trade. But it was just too late. That's uh, my bad. I think it's the second time now I flagged in this uh, campaign. I should work on that. Still, I'm above 1600. And let's see if I can win some upcoming uh, games. Don't forget to like, subscribe and see you tomorrow. Bye bye.